Hey guys, welcome back to the Shire. If you're new here, my name is Rebecca and I'm a stay at home mom and an online reseller. And today is going to be a haul video from my last day of yard sailing. If you're new to these videos, I look like Hot Mess Express because this is my yard sailing day. I am recording this after having gone yard sailing all day, which was probably like five or six hours. So it was very hot. Uh, I definitely need a shower after this video, and uh, yeah, it was a good day though. Um, I feel like a lot of these yard sales recently haven't been that great, but this day was, I mean, I didn't find anything amazing, but I did find some good finds. So I got a bunch of stuff for my own family as well, but I'm not going to show you that. That's already been sorted and everything, um, but I do have my Ikea bag, and it is stuff full. I do pick up a little bit of almost everything to resell, but I've been focusing more on clothing, which is kind of my main thing anyway. And I think pretty much everything I got today was clothing. I don't think I picked up any hard goods. I did pick up some shoes as well. So we will see what I found. And it's gonna be in just a random order. And then I'll tell you also how much I paid for them. The first item I got, um, I actually bought for myself, but does not fit. It is this. Under Armour heat gear, like zip up jacket. And it's in this really pretty like teal color, I guess. But it's a size medium, but it is a, a fitted size medium heat gear shirt or jacket, I guess. It was $2. I don't know how much I'll get out of that, but even for $2, um, I was okay risking that for myself. I didn't try it on there or anything, but I still knew something like this would sell enough to be worth $2. Next is this hoodie. It is an Eagles hoodie. I am in Pennsylvania, so we get uh, Steelers. We get Steelers, Eagles, and Ravens, pretty much. So this one's Eagles, and it's just embroidered on here. And then it has um, like graphic print Eagles going down the sleeves on both sides. And it kind of has this cool like hem. It's a, you know, not your basic hoodie. It's like ribbed and it's the same thing on the cuffs. Just kind of cool, just a little bit different. This is a size small. And I don't think it really says men's or women's, but it was with the women's clothing. And it's an NFL team apparel sweatshirt, so. It'll probably, I guess I'll list it in unisex or like in men's as unisex. I don't know yet. I'll have to look that up, but I would think that a woman would probably buy this. So I might just list it in the women's section. And either way, I always provide measurements. These next few items were probably my best finds as far as how much I'll get out of them. I found this pair of Carhartt pants and I've sold Carhartt in the past. Honestly, these, I wasn't sure if they were real or not, but I don't know if people really produce fakes or dupes of Carhartt. Seems kind of a weird thing to do that with. Um, and the only reason I thought that is because the pants I find are usually like really super rugged material. And these ones aren't, they just kind of feel like regular khaki cargo pants. Um, but it does have the Carhartt tag on the back here. And it does say Carhartt on the button, which you may not be able to see that well, but... And then I couldn't remember from the other ones, like, how the tag looked on the inside. So these are 38 by 30 size, but there's nothing else on the back here. And then it does have this tag, and this is... Looking at this is what made me think uh, it's probably legit, because this does look exactly like the other Carhartt tags I've seen. So, of course... You know, tags can always be duped, but I don't think there's that many people out there duping Carhartt. So I don't know um, how much these will go for. They do look brand new. I don't even know if they've been washed. I'll probably mark them as like new, but obviously pre-owned. And these cost me $5. Um, I don't know how much they'll go for. I'll have to look them up. I've sold a pair of overalls that were super stained for like 40 bucks. And I've sold um, another pair of work pants that were pretty stained. I wanna say around like 20 or 17. 
something like that. So my guess is in the 20 to $35 range maybe, but I'll have to look up exactly which kind of pants these are. So they did have two pairs of these. So these are exactly the same, same size, exactly the same thing. So I guess I, well, I'll have to look at the condition really well. I might be able to do a multi-quantity listing, but probably not because they're not new. The other item I got is also Carhartt. These are a green pant, and this is that like tougher, more rugged material that I usually find. And these ones are super special because they are flannel lined. So that's different and kind of like an upgrade. Um, so these are still the same size, 38 by 30, and they were still $5. Everything else pretty much looks like those ones, same like tag on the back. I guess I was thinking, well, this one is actually, um, this one's like a leather patch and that's more of what I'm used to. I guess that's one of the things that made me not sure on the other ones, but maybe just cause they're a different style, the patch is different. But yeah, these are really nice. And I would expect more out of these. I don't know how much, but um, I could see these going, you know, maybe 40 to 50. I have no clue. That's just me spitballing here. Uh, based on other Carhartt items I've sold and knowing that I've actually done pretty well with any kind of flannel lined pants. Sticking with our pants theme, I picked up some American Eagle jeans. These are American Eagle, let's see, these are the high rise jegging in a size two short. I don't care too much about sizes on American Eagle. Obviously bigger is usually more um, sought after, but there's people of all sizes out there who need pants, especially American Eagle, even like, you know, kids who are still in like high school or even middle school, I guess, um, and their parents don't wanna pay like 40 bucks for a pair of jeans. I typically get right about $18 for American Eagle jeans. These cost me $3, and that's about the top of what I wanna pay for American Eagle jeans. Uh, I usually try to get them for like two, but two to three, I think they'll still do well. And American Eagle actually already also has a tag that tells you what year they're from. So these ones are from 2019, so they're not like too terribly old still in style. This is another pair of American Eagle jeans. These are more of a darker wash. These all have distressing though. And these are size four short. And let's see where they're from. Also from 2019. And those were $3 as well. And then the last pair of American Eagle jeans are these ones. Did I say what the last ones were? Those were both high rise jegging. This is super high rise jegging. And these are a two regular. These are a lighter wash, lots of distressing. Um, I almost didn't get these just because they have these like, probably can't even tell they're so small, but it has like a couple little brown dots right here, just like dirt or mud probably. I kind of scratched at it and it looked like it'd probably come off. So um, I went ahead and grabbed these anyway. Once again, $3. And as I said, I would expect to get around um, $18 for each one. I'm guessing these are also from 2019. Yep. So they're all 2019, so they're not terribly old styles. High rise, I think is still kind of in, I don't even know what's in anymore, but. <laughs> Um, these are all like really soft too, I guess, because they're the jegging, like they feel really soft for jeans. So I thought that was a pretty good pickup for those, even though they are a little bit smaller sizes. It's not like a double zero. Those are a lot more difficult to sell. This next item was probably a mistake, but um, I got it anyway. I thought it was vintage and now I'm not so sure, but I got this little baby kid's outfit, a bear on a sailboat. And it's just like a little romper and t-shirt. The t-shirt's actually separate. 
Um, and the brand is BT Kids. And this is a six to nine months. It says it's a three piece set. So I don't know, maybe it had a hat or something that went with it. But I thought it was vintage at first, but looking at these other tags, um, I'm not so sure they are. I don't know for sure. I don't, I doubt there's a year anywhere, but uh, I can always look for that then. Either way, I paid $1 for this set. So I don't know, it might only go for like 10 bucks if someone's into that like sailor kind of theme. It's cute because it has these little like buttons up here too that feel very nautical. They have little anchors on them. Next up is definitely some vintage items. Again, some of these I just, I wasn't 100% sure on, but I grabbed them anyway. This is just like a sleeveless, I guess you call it like a blouse, um, but it zips the whole way down the front. So you could wear it open as like a vest if you wanted to, or just wear it as a shirt. Uh, the brand is La Belle. I don't know what that is, but it's made in USA and it's a size small. And this um, is actually, like I thought it was black and white. I guess it's a checkered gingham. I don't know. Um, at first I thought it was like black and white, but it's actually brown, like chocolate brown, which is fine, it doesn't really matter. Um, but this was $2 to pick up. The other vintage piece I picked up is um, new with tags, so that was cool. It's the brand Celine Sport. I don't know anything about that. And it's just this sleeveless top, tag in. It's a really pretty color. And it has um, a zipper that goes down the side here so you can get it on easier. This is 55% linen and 45% rayon. It is made in China, um, but I think, I think it's vintage. It seems more vintage to me. There's a style number and everything. Here's the new tag part. So I just like to pick up linen pieces. I think this is a really nice basic linen top that someone can wear in the summer and they can wear it either with some pants or you can throw it underneath of something. I thought that color was just really pretty. And like I said, I like picking up linen. I did pick up a little bit of hard goods. I forgot about these. <laughs> so I picked up this book. It was a quarter and this is Aesop's Fables. So I don't know much about it, but like old books, I think they look really cool without the dust jackets. Um, and the illustrations on this, just so cool. Like even if someone was just trying to display it, but I didn't look it up at all. Like I said, it was a quarter and this one's copyright 1947. Definitely an older book. Uh, it's just, I don't know. I've never read this, I've heard of it, but I thought it just was really cool. So I will look up and see kind of if it's worth reselling, I guess. I mean, I'd, I'd be interested in maybe reading it sometime, but probably like 10 years in the future. And then the other one I picked up is Robin Hood. This was the first one I saw. So this was also a quarter. Um, and again, I picked it up just cause you know, it looks old because it is. And the copyright date on this one, I think was also the 40s. Yeah, 1946. But once again, I mean, I think the illustrations are just really cool. Obviously Robin Hood's more of a classic story. Something I didn't realize until I had gotten home was, uh, I don't know if someone was like shooting at this book with like BBs or something or pellets, I don't know. But there is a hole here and it goes through the book, like even like halfway through, I see, see that hole there. And then it comes out the back, like it's all the way back at the back of the book. So I don't know, it's definitely, I mean, neither of these books are in excellent condition. Um, you can see the pages are kind of dirty and stuff, but as long as you disclose the condition, um, I think, you know, they can still sell depending on if it's something that people are actually looking for. So I had no idea on those, but they were a quarter piece and I thought they looked cool. So I grabbed them and I'll look them up and we'll see if they're worth much. Next up is more modern piece. This is just like a long sleeve knit sweater. 
I love the sleeve on this. I think this is really pretty. Um, it's just pretty like gray and white floral. This is from Loft. And I want to try out Loft more. I don't find much Loft in my area that's not Loft Outlet or Factory um, or like Ann Taylor Loft. So this is just straight Loft. So I wanted to give this a shot, see if it does any better. And this is a size medium. It is my size, but not my style. I think it's a little bit cropped as well, or maybe just like a boxier fit. This next piece is a men's shirt. And you'll see a common theme in that, like I said, I don't look things up. <laughs> I rarely look things up at yard sales um, because I feel like things are usually priced good enough that you can kind of just give it a shot and I just kind of want to go off my gut feelings and see how that works for me. So this was a gut feeling purchase. This was $4 and the brand is called Woods and Water Outfitters and it's a size extra, extra large. It's like this button up shirt. I grabbed it because of the print. It has, um, I don't know, all kinds of birds. Where there's like, like grouse and turkey. I don't know, I'm not a hunter, so <laughs> I don't know what all these birds are, but I think the print is just really cool for someone who likes the outdoors and probably is a hunter of waterfowl or <laughs> other birds I don't know but yeah four bucks and um I probably would not have grabbed this if it was like a men's medium or something like that but because the size was an extra extra large I thought it would be a good pickup these next couple pieces are kids pieces and they were 50 cents a piece first we have this little Steelers like windbreaker jacket this is the brand NFL. This is NFL and Reebok, and it's a size 4T. So there's the tag it's on, NFL tag. And then the back says Steelers. I thought that was really cool. I think this one actually was a windbreaker suit, and um, so it had pants with it, but I looked at the pants and they were not in great condition. Cause you know, this like squishy material and kids on their knees, it, discolors and gets all crazy. So I left the pants and just grabbed the jacket. And here's another one. This one says Reebok right there. The same thing, it's embroidered on the back as well. So like I said, we have Steelers, Eagles, and Ravens. I don't typically pick up a lot of Raven stuff. I don't know why, I just tend not to. <laughs> but uh, Steelers and Eagles I'll pick up. This is also NFL team apparel, Reebok Kids 4T. These are just really nice jackets. They're really cute. These people had a lot of Steelers and Penn State stuff. And then I also picked up this little like cheerleader outfit for Pittsburgh. Also NFL team apparel. This one is a size 12 months. Oh, and it just came apart, but <laughs> it's like a long sleeve bodysuit. And then the dress. Next is a sweatshirt. I grabbed this for two dollars. It's just a plain champion sweatshirt to size 2XL and it's in really good condition so that's why for two bucks I decided to grab it. Here's a tag. I don't think it's vintage or anything like that but just a nice sweatshirt. I really love these next ones. This is a cute pair of shorts. They're just denim shorts but they have a button fly they roll cuff raw hem and look at how cute these pockets are. They have this like rainbow embroidered thread. These are super cute. Back's just plain. These are and denim, which is H and M. And these are the boyfriend shorts in a size two us size two. So I can barely even see they didn't really put their brand very big. But down there it says and denim. So I know we're starting to get out of summer season. Uh, as far as reselling goes, I'm gonna have to start listing more fall things soon. So we'll see if I get these up this year or not. They might end up waiting till next year. We'll have to see. This next piece, I'm not really sure if it should be called a jacket or like a blazer. Let me do up the buttons so I can actually show it to you. 
Okay, I only did like two of the buttons, but you get the idea. So this is really pretty. It's like, it's not corduroy. I don't even know what the material is. It feels like a really, really soft corduroy, but it has this kind of like faux elbow patch on the back. Just kind of blends in though. But this is J Jill and it's a size 2X. So I don't, I'd, I guess I'd probably list it as like a jacket more than a blazer. My mom said she thought it felt more like a barn coat style. So that could be too, cause it's got like these pockets here. Um, and it's just this really pretty like pink color. It's like a dusty pink, I guess. I have some experience with J. Jill, but not a lot. And I tend to find a lot of J. Jill in petite sizes, which it's not my favorite thing to sell as petite sizes because they don't move as quickly. But um, that's why I jumped on that. So the shorts were $1 and this jacket was $2. From the same sale, I got this really cute dress yellow polka dot dress kind of like that song with the yellow polka dot bikini so this is a yellow polka dot dress and the brand is abound i don't know anything about that it's a size small so i i'll have to look up that brand i don't know i've never heard of that but i grabbed it and looked at it because of the way it felt and looked i thought it might be linen and it is it is 55 percent linen and 45 percent rayon so like I said before, I like picking up things that are linen. Um, I think people really like this for summertime. And I just think this is a super cute style too. So it's not my color or my size or my print preference. But other than that, it is a really cute dress. So that dress was $2 as well. I also, from the same sale as those last few items, I grabbed these shorts. They're just like a basic green, olive green short. And these are the brand Loft as well. So I got that shirt to try in Loft and then I also have these shorts to try and they're a size four. So here's Loft. Um, I think these are just a really nice basic short. Like if I didn't already have a pair of green shorts, I'd probably try these on, but I don't need another pair of green shorts. So those were $1. I also found this Nike visor. It's navy blue and it's dry fit. It's a uh, hook and loop adjustable. So there isn't really a size on it. And this was $2. Don't think it says if it's like men's or women's. It's from 2019, but it says just do it. So Nike is a good pickup. This one's really clean. I wouldn't pick it up if it weren't really clean. Um, probably more like a women's golf or tennis visor, something like that. But I don't know what visors go for. I haven't sold any visors. I've sold hats, but not visors. And so we'll have to see how visors do. And the last thing I have left to show you are shoes. Not that I have any room on my shoe shelf for more shoes, but we're gonna have to find room. So I just found these. These are really cute, like cork wedges. This is like leather suede, it's like an orange color burnt orange and the bottoms are super clean probably barely worn these are clark's clark's are i feel like really underestimated by a lot of resellers but i've sold a fair amount of clark's and they can sell really well i just recently sold a pair of sandals that were like new without box I paid three bucks for them and they sold overnight on eBay for $50, which was my full asking price. That was plus shipping. So um, Clark's makes really nice, well-made shoes. <laughs> so I wouldn't, uh, you know, don't diss them just because they aren't, you know, something fancy, Louis Vuitton or something. But these are a size seven. So a little bit smaller than what I usually prefer, but there's still people with small feet out there. I actually sold a pair of shoes really similar to these, except instead of this like orange color, they were like a bluish turquoise color. I grabbed those for I think $2.50 at a yard sale, or no, at a thrift store for $2.50. And I think I sold them for like 
30, I think it was $30. So that was a good turnover. Um, and these cost me $2. Have Clark's again. These are a sandal. They've got these cool like stones on the front. It's like a thong sandal. So you can't always use the word thong depending on where you're listing. Some people, Facebook doesn't like it when you use the word thong. And I'm guessing they got these from the thrift store at some point because it has this on it, but that should come off with water. That's how our thrift store locally marks stuff. It's got like a teeny tiny bit of a scuff on the toe, but other than that, really clean. These are Clark's Artisan, which I guess is just like a, a line of Clark's. And I think these are also sevens. Yep, these are also sevens. So we have those cute little sandals. And those were $2 as well, as well as these. These surprised me. So these are another, like, these are a faux cork wedge. Um, and they have these, I guess they're leather, or they're definitely leather-esque. Doesn't say, but um, these are actually the brand Crocs. I've never seen Crocs with like this kind of upper before. So it is like fabric line, like this cotton plaid lining. And yeah, they're just really cute. They're once again, really great condition. These are also a size seven. And I don't think it says it on the bottom, but it does have a tag, really tiny tag. Oops the inside of this strap and there is a number in there which you won't be able to see but there is a number that'll tell me the style number or style name so I'll be able to look those up but yeah it just says it's you know typical Crocs footbed so all from the same place three pairs of this woman's shoes it looks like she barely wore and the last thing I got from that yard sale with the shoes um I got these rain boots I don't know if I should have so here's why. These are the brand Kamek. I always say Kamek, Kamek. I forget exactly how you're supposed to pronounce it. So sorry to anyone who knows better. I think it's a Canadian brand. Also not 100% sure, but um, I think it does actually say made. Yeah, it says made in Canada. So they're a Canadian brand. Um, but these are rain boots, obviously. I have sold this brand in rain boots before and they did not sell very high. I think I had to drop the price super low to sell them, but they were also like kind of a weird pattern. So I grabbed these, she only asked for $3 for them. They are new with tag. They're kind of dirty, I'll have to wipe them off, probably just from storage. Um, it says they're good to negative 10 degrees. So I might need to read the tag a little bit more um, because they are lined. I don't know how well you can see that, but there we go. It's like almost like a micro fleece lining. So I don't know if they're just, maybe they're not just a rain boot. I don't know, but they're this like dark color. It's either a red or a purple. I really thought they were more red, but now I'm seeing kind of a purplish color. Hopefully when I look them up, it'll tell me better. And these ones are a size eight. So $3 for these. Um, I thought that was a really good price. Unfortunately, this tag does not tell me how much they cost originally. So I don't know. But yeah, it says they're good for negative 10 degrees Fahrenheit. So we'll have to see. I don't know how much to list these for or what they'll go for yet. But I think they'll be worth it for three bucks. The very last thing I bought is also Kamek. <laughs> it is these little snow boots and I haven't seen this before, but it's like Kamek Kids, Kamek Kids, once again, however you say that. And these are just little snow boots. I think they're a size nine. I'll have to compare them to my kids' shoes um, because it's either a six or a nine, but it doesn't have like the line under it like sixes usually do, which makes me think they're a nine. If they're a six, I probably will keep them and use them for my daughter this year, unless we already have snow boots in that size. But uh, otherwise, yeah, it's just a nice little snow boot and these only cost $1. So they're just navy blue and black. 
That is everything that I got while yard sailing today. So let me know what your favorite item was. I'm trying to decide my favorite. I really like the yellow polka dot dress as much as that's not my personal style, style to wear. I think it's really cute. So like I said, I don't know that brand abound. I'll have to look it up, but let me know in the comments what your favorite piece is and if you would have picked these pieces up or not, or if you know anything else about these pieces that I'm missing. If you know something about those books I don't know, please shed some light on it. I would love to hear from you. And don't forget to like this video if you enjoyed it and subscribe if you aren't already subscribed so you can see more of my yard sale hauls and all the finds that I find while I'm out during the summer. If you're over on Instagram, you can follow me at the Cozy Shire and follow along over there. You can see any kind of little pickups I find, or you can see my uh, distress when people offer me really low offers on some of my items, but it's entertaining and it's all part of the business. I hope you are having an awesome day and I will see you in the next one.